College football ratings. Not going to spend a long time on this, but as you guys know, uh, I like to pay attention to what everybody is watching, etc. Looking at the numbers, we finally got them over at showbuzzdaily.com. Uh, and you can keep up with these throughout the season. I will try and put together a little spreadsheet. I don't think Sports Media Watch is doing it anymore, so we'll uh, we'll try and keep up with it. But Notre Dame at Ohio State, final tally. I told you the other day it was like 8.5 million. Uh, incorrect. 10.531 million viewers on that one. Florida State, LSU, 7.554 million viewers. Oregon, Georgia was 6.199 million. And then after that, Swap it over to uh, what happened on Monday, and ESPN here had 4.859 million for that standalone window with Clemson and Georgia Tech. Regardless of that game uh, and the way that it went, still a lot of viewers. But you jump back over here, that was the fourth most viewed was on Monday night. Uh, but then you've got Saturday, you know, early game blowout. You got Colorado State at Michigan, Penn State at Purdue on. Uh, a Thursday night, that one did over $3 million, $3.5 million. Uh, West Virginia Pitt on Thursday did $3.1 million on ESPN, $2.9 million for Utah, Florida on ESPN. Cincinnati, Arkansas did $2.899 million. NC State, East Carolina had over $2 million. I mean, it is, it is bonkers looking at this. Now, what you don't see is North Carolina and App State, stuff like that that was on ESPNU, stuff that was on uh, the SEC Network, et cetera, because those are not reported Numbers. So you are only going to get ESPN, ESPN2, ABC, all the network television and whatnot. Uh, but an interesting, interesting point here from Mike Mulvihill, who's the executive vice president for Fox Sports. He shared this out and said, total viewing of all college football through Monday night is up plus 2% over 2021, over opening week 2021. Total TV use for the week that ended Sunday was down 5%. So the total number of television viewers went down by 5%, and yet the viewership for college football went up 2%. It said, once again, football up, TV down, could be a thread through the season. It's very interesting to see these numbers because this is exactly why these networks are paying so much in media rights to these conferences. The Big Ten got over a billion dollars a year. SEC is going to do the exact same thing. And it will continue on and on because live sports is the only place where you can actually toss in advertisements anymore. That is the way it goes. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. And make sure to leave a nice five-star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter, at GaryWCE. And the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.